there's a lot of really inappropriate stuff that's being smuggled into our kids' classrooms nowadays. Pornography in like a sixth grade library. Uh, that was not there when I was a kid, and so now they're doing it. So obviously that's not appropriate, certainly not appropriate to use tax dollars to be doing that. And so parents now have the ability in Florida to blow the whistle. Now, when they do that, uh, the media uh, will create a narrative that somehow removing a pornographic book from like a sixth grade classroom is somehow akin to banning books, uh, which it's not. I mean, you have to make decisions about curating books, which books are going to be, which are not. Um, for every one book you have about George Washington, there's probably 20 that you could have, and you just make decisions. Doesn't mean you're banning the other 20 books. No, you're just curating. So it, the whole thing is a hoax, but we felt the need to push back on it. So we did a press conference a couple months ago, and we called the press conference exposing the book ban hoax. But before I spoke, before the parents spoke, we just played on a TV, big TV uh, screen the images from the books that the parents were actually objecting to. The local news stations had to cut their live feed because they said it was too graphic. Well, if it's too graphic for the 6 o'clock news, how is it okay for a 10-year-old school child? 